All right, before we really get rolling, let's make sure we're gone and sound. Check your sound. Check, Coach. check, check. Okay. Stuck in behind the set. Yep. No star today. It's Stuckley for star. Nice. Now, he did this last week. I think he... We didn't do the coaches show because nope. you were gone, but he did the weather and all. So, Derek, we good? So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Stuckley, our producer engineer today. Yes. Coach Sammy Burnett, how are you? I'm wonderful, Carl. How are you? Everything's good. How was your weekend? Well, having NASCAR withdrawals. You know, they're out until August the 7th, so... Didn't get to watch any NASCAR, watch the Little Olympics, and actually sit down and watch some Gold Cup soccer. Did you see that game last I did night? not see that. The United States beat Jamaica in a 1-0 battle with scored with like 80 in the 83rd minute looking Woo for that soccer. Wee, that was exciting. It actually was a good game. It was neat to watch. I'm trying to learn more about soccer mm -hmm. so I can understand it a little better and what better way to do that than watching the pros. And I'm telling you, they're pretty handy with their feet did that was that sort of a play on words handy with their feet yeah <laughs> yes sir <laughs> <laughs> no but they're Boy, gonna play in today. austin they played in cowboy stadium they're gonna play in austin next thursday against uh qatar who apparently is pretty salty but and then canada is gonna play mexico to see who goes to the finals for the go cup and apparently the go cup is more important than the olympics in soccer, I don't know. Wow. I'm just listening. Maybe I'm wrong, but some people opt out of playing in the Olympics because they're playing in the Gold Cup and da da da. Right. So I don't know. All right, way to go, U.S. That's right. One nothing. Now that was not the Olympics you were talking about. That's no, the sir, World that was Cup or Gold Cup. Gold Cup. Gold yeah. Cup. I think it's called uh -huh. the World Cup or Gold Cup. Some right. kind of cup. It's exciting. It's a gold World Cup. Yeah, it's exciting. Absolutely, yeah, it There's is. There's no they're, doubt about they're pretty that. Good. Hey, speaking of the Olympics, our U.S. women's softball team, I'm rooting for them because they got some older they got folks Kat on that Ostrin. team. That's right. Yeah, she's doing well. <laughs> she's old UT Longhorns. Speaking of the UT Longhorns, they're going to go to the SEC. Yeah, we'll save that for another day. Okay. <laughs> but Stuck we are smiling talk back about there from that. ear to ear. I know there's a lot of people not smiling. We yeah. know who you are. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, sir. But. It could happen this week. Yeah. Stay tuned. OU and Texas going to this. I have no problems with it. It's going to be a 16-team conference, and maybe by Wednesday we might know something, and we might talk about it just a little bit more. All right. Yeah, but you mentioned Cat Osterman, 38 years old, still throwing the heat up there. Yeah, that's young. Well, you know, from us, it's young. Yes. In a sports on what standpoint, perspective. it's not so young. I'm looking at a petrified cake over there. There's so <laughs> many candles on it. It's wax is melted and covered all the cake up, so it's going to last forever. Sort of like us. We're getting petrified, too. Hey, so. check that out. <laughs> oh, your cake didn't shut because it's green. The cake is green. It, yeah. All that shows up is those 16 <laughs> candles that blew up on us the other day. It sure hey, did. thanks for coming out and, and being bet. a part of that and doing the weather cast for Randy. That was Probably the most interesting weather cast I've ever seen. Would you agree, Derek? Definitely. <laughs> I had to make it funny because I can't do it. I had to cover up the fact that I wasn't a very good weather guy. It was good. Kathleen helped you out. But she did. All right. It was good stuff. And we appreciate all of our weather casters last week. But what a way to end the week with Sammy Burnett. Go back and watch it on the KLXE.com and KLXE Facebook page if you haven't done so. All right. I guess we need to talk a little sports here. We yeah. don't have a NASCAR update. <clears throat> no NASCAR, no Monday evening NASCAR report, but volleyball camp kicked off today. Yep. Uh, they're going through Wednesday. I think it's 10 uh, 1030 to 12 at uh, the junior high gym, main gym to junior high. I moved it over there because Warren Gym is getting a, a facelift. I'm excited about that. It's supposed to be done by the end of the week, so I'm excited to see what that thing looks like. We put some plans together. Coach Horst has been working diligently. Uh, of course, I want to have my finger on it to see because I want a part of what it looks like. So she runs everything by me, and I think we got a good plan and ready to see that. But volleyball camps moved to the junior high main gym, so they're rocking and rolling. I know the younger ones are going from like 1030 to 12, and I think there's another camp for the high school kids later. I think it's next week. I'm I think sure. so, yeah. I don't have the details on that. But uh, uh, just want to remind everybody that uh, ticket sales start on August the 3rd, which is next Tuesday, so you got about eight days. Uh, they're going to be Tuesday the 3rd through Friday, August the 13th. Uh, that's from 8 to 4. That's Tuesday through Friday. No ticket sales on Monday. And that's for previous ticket uh, season ticket holders. So if you're a season ticket holder up to 2019, you get the option to get your tickets first. And then August the 10th through the 20th, 
Uh, same time, 8 to 4, no Mondays, just Tuesday through Thursday. If you want to become a new season ticket holder, uh, you can do that. And that's all done at the athletic office uh, at the high school in front of Warren Gym. Lisa Hossel is in charge of that, does an outstanding job of season tickets. Uh, so look forward to seeing all the faces and everybody coming out to get those tickets. It's it's really a neat environment for me. I, you know, I'm working in, in and out, and there's lines, and I get to say hi to people. I run some friends, get to meet some people I don't know, but the excitement about the upcoming season and everyone getting their tickets and no restrictions and all that kind of stuff, I think it's going to make it even more uh, enjoyable because um, it's that excitement that's in the air that everyone's ready for some Friday night football, and so am I. Well, we are getting mm -hmm. ready. Of course, uh, next Monday, one week from today, football practice begins. Mm -hmm. Now, give us an update what's going to be going on this week, week in preparation for that. Sure. This week, you know, we're finishing with strength and condition uh, through Thursday. Uh, bring our kids in and just strength and condition only, no skill stuff. And then we have time from mid-morning uh, before lunch, and then we break for lunch, and we come back after lunch. And we do uh, uh, basically install our system with our junior high coaches and go over that with them like i said before if the defense is talking uh if the defensive coaches are talking defense to the junior high coaches at the same time our high school coaches are preparing uh for the week's practice which I make them we do a week ahead we install what plays we're going to do today what we're going to do tomorrow what we're going to do the next day that kind of stuff so we have a very detailed practice schedule uh, and then when we flip, the offense will start talking to the junior high coaches just to try to help them become more knowledgeable. And uh, the defensive coaches will do the same. They'll start working on their prep for practice and things like that. Uh, we do get take our tests. We have all kinds of C, uh, certification tests that we have to take for the UIL. We also have them for uh, our education side of it. Uh, we got to do our tackling certification mm -hmm. test. Uh, we do bus tests. Any of the, the tests and the certifications that we have to get done, we'll do this week. Uh, we'll also uh, do all of our personnel for our kids from freshmen all the way up to varsity, who we feel is going to start where, uh, depth chart, that kind of stuff. It's not as much a depth chart as it is a team chart. Uh, so we put those kids in the position that we want them to start for the season. And then, uh, you know, make sure we have all of our equipment from dummies to cones to wristbands to equipment pass out, that kind of stuff. So when those kids show up on Monday, we're ready to go. And then we, you know, we do our cleaning. We clean lockers. We clean the turf room. Just make sure everything's ready to go uh, for the new start of the new season. So we do that this week. Uh, and then usually if they're done on Friday, we take Friday off. We do have a get together with all of our coaches, uh, everybody, boys, girls, uh, and their families um, that are on staff at BISD. Uh, we'll go to Mr. Moore's house this, this year and we'll cook for them mm. and they'll get to swim around in, in the lake and, and uh, just have some fellowship with all of our coaches, boys and girls, high school, junior high, get to know their spouses, their children, that kind of stuff. So wow. look forward to that at the end of the week. Then, of course, Monday we kick off our season. Right. Uh, just information for that. I get, I'm getting a lot of hits on what do they need. If you're a high school kid, uh, freshman or above, we're going to provide you everything that you need to practice and play. If you need shoes, we have shoes. If Here's the deal. Sometimes it's not the shoes they want. So they go to mom and dad and say, hey, I got to have a pair of cleats. No, they don't have to have a pair of cleats. They want a pair of cleats. And that's why I try to tell them because mom and dad have to go out and drop $100 or more on a pair of cleats. We provide cleats for yeah. our kids. It may not be the brand spanking, shiny, whatever ones they want, but we do provide a good pair of shoes. If we won't put them in junk, they're good shoes. Uh, so we go from there all the way to girdles to everything that they need to practice. So when those kids show up on Monday... All you needed to have is your paperwork done that we've asked you to do, which is probably going to be online this year. And uh, we'll give you everything that you need to practice and you need to show up and get dressed and what we give you and you're good to go. So on that note, on Monday, uh, if you're an incoming senior, you get to get your stuff first. That's at 1 o'clock. Juniors show up at 1.15. Sophomores show up at 1.30. Freshmen show up at 1.45. So you'll get all the things that you need. You'll get assigned a locker. Everything will be ready to go. We let you leave at that point. You return at 310. Uh, and then we do a condition test. And that's a test to see where we are cardiovascular wise. That's important for us. We got to know where our kids are. Uh, and there are breaks for that. If you're a kid that came to strength conditioning a certain percentage of the days this summer, 
you're exempt from taking that test. All you become is a cheerleader at that point and you cheer everybody else on. Uh, there's a test that they have to run. They, it's timed. If they make it, they're done. If they don't make it, they'll run it until they make it. So it's a big motivation for our kids to come in in shape. It's also a great opportunity for us as a staff to see the whole team. Mm. Our 90% of our kids making the test or 90% of our kids not making the test. We need to know that. We need to know what we got to do to get into the best cardiovascular condition you can be in. And that's extremely important to me. I feel the legs feed the wolf. So there you go. That's got to happen. So all that's going on on uh, Monday. So, again, uh, they'll come in from 1 to 145, seniors first. That sophomore is going to show up at 1 o'clock when that senior shows up thinking he can get his stuff and he'll have to sit outside in the sun until it's his time to get his stuff because <laughs> we got an organized plan to get that done. So uh, remember, seniors at 1, juniors at 115, sophomores at 130, freshmen at 145. Then all players will report. We'll do our con conditioning test at 330, and then we'll start practice at 430. A little update on practice. We're going to uh, do it a little bit different this year. Uh, we're going to practice our freshmen on the soccer field where they normally practice behind the tennis courts. Uh, we'll do that with them there, but we're going to move the junior varsity and the varsity to Gordon Wood Stadium and practice out there in the evenings at least for the first week. So if you want to attend practice, you want to come out and see uh, what product's going to be on the field, we'll have some gates open. Come on out, sit in the stands, and enjoy watching a little bit of practice. All right, it gets real, y'all, next Monday. All right, uh, fantastic stuff, and we'll talk a little bit more on Wednesday about all of that, too, and remind everybody, you have a meeting for volleyball parents coming up this week. You want to plug that? Oh, man, uh, it's the 20th. 20... I think it's this Thursday. Uh, Thursday the 5th. No, that's next week. Thursday's the 26th. It's the 30th. At 30th. It's no. the 29th. 20. We're going to get there eventually, y'all. It's the 29th. <laughs> Derek, help us. At Warren Gym. And I'm trying to remember what time it is. I think it's 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Woo. Man, you sort of hit me in the face Sorry. right there, Carl. You do that to me. Hey, we have a volleyball parent meeting in Warren Gym <laughs> Thursday, the 29th. At six o'clock. So if you have a youngster that's in volleyball, uh, sorry we're making light of that. That's just my uh, lack of preparation and forgetting the time and date for that meeting. That's an opportunity for you to meet the coach. Uh, she'll give you some guidelines. She'll go over the athletic policy that we put into place when we came in. Uh, answer any questions that you have about your youngster uh, and what to expect from the volleyball camp. And an opportunity for you to get to know her and her to get to know you and uh, her being Coach Smith and probably meet the other coaches on her staff, the Lynn sisters, and uh, some junior high coaches. And like I said, it's a question and answer, but more so it's her uh, laying sort of the groundwork on how we're going to do things and what we do and what you can expect and blah, blah, blah. So if you do that before the year, it usually saves a lot of uh, uh, parent meetings, that kind of stuff. It sort of solves some of those problems, so you don't have to deal with that kind of stuff throughout the course of your season. So we try to do that with all programs at the first of the year. So that one will be Thursday the 29th at 6 o'clock in Warren Gym. Got it. Good yeah. job, Coach. Uh, thanks. Hey, what about cross country? They're starting up, aren't they? Yeah, everybody starts up the second, okay. which is different. We were a week ahead, but now everyone's starting on the second. So cross country and volleyball and football all kick off on the same day. Hey, Derek and I were wanting to know if we could come out next Monday and take part in that agility drill. We yes. just like to do it for a new source so we can actually tell people what it's like. Derek, yes. are you up for that? We'll have the kids out there and we'll line them up and we'll let y'all race each other and we'll put you through that conditioning test. And if you make it through half of it, I'll buy you an ice cream. Hey, did you hear that? I'm game. How much time do you have? You have about 48 seconds to run. What? Six times six is 360 yards, and you what? get a two-minute recovery time, and you have to do that twice. Whoa! No, thank you. That doesn't sound so hard. <laughs> yeah. Come on out and get your ice cream. Let's see. 360. <laughs> I don't want ice cream is that feet or yards? That'd be yards. That would be 300. Man. Say if it's 360 and you're going feet, it would be 910, 11, 12, 1380, wouldn't it? Uh, that's 940 yard right. dashes, basically. And then two minutes and then nine more. Yeah. Wait, we have 40. How long to do that? You got to do that in about 48 minutes if you're a skilled oh, kid. 48 oh, 48 minutes. Uh, seconds. Oh, seconds. Sorry. Okay. I, I, said I was going to go with the minutes. No, no, no. It's <laughs> you get 48 seconds if you're a skilled kid. Wow. If you're a lineman, you get 52 seconds. What I mean, if you're a 60-year-old broadcaster? 
you get as much time as needed because I'll even take it you in it in the cart so that you don't pass out on us. All right. But there you go. I can promise you this, Carl, we're not in the cardiovascular shape that we need to be in. Yeah, probably not. If uh, I bust I like out of a walk, idea. I start panting. <laughs> I like the card idea, but this is something you guys instituted. I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got to be in shape. I mean, football is a game. You know it. You've got to be in top condition, top shape, and you just want to make sure everybody's there before they take that first snap. That's right. All right. Wasn't that philosophizing right there, Derek? Didn't great you stuff. like that? Great stuff. <laughs> philosophizing. <laughs> I don't know anymore. But we are full of it. <laughs> All right. Coach, that was a good show today. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. Is there anything we missed? No, I don't think we missed anything, but let's right. thank those that make this show possible. Auto Glass Magic, Avalon Custom Homes, Bruner Auto Group, Syntex Body and Paint, Syntex Equipment Sales, Citizens National Bank, Dan Hill Containers, Dr. Bon Young, Dr. Pepper Bonding Company, Edward Jones Investments, Hendrick Medical, Howie Enterprises, Humphrey Peets, Landmark Life, MC Bank, Painter & Johnson Associates, Smith & Sharp Agency, Sonic Drive-In, Stanley Chrysler, Texas Bank, Weldon Wilson Electric, Western Bank, and Willie's Tees. Coach, as always, thank you for your time. We'll visit again on Wednesday. We'll get an update on everything, and uh, we appreciate Derek back there doing the dials and the did buttons. A, he did a good job. Well, we'll find out if we... <laughs> Time will tell <laughs> if this gets on the air today. All right. That's I'm sure right. he did. We give Derek a hard time. He, he's actually good as gold and does a great job. We're the ones yeah. that mess up all the time. So he does a great job. We just cover up our flaws by hacking on Stuckley. Yeah, sometimes we forget to turn our mics on, uh -huh. but, you know, it's all good. It's all part of it. All right, Coach, thank you. We'll see you Wednesday. You bet. Have a great day, Brownwood. Brownwood Lions head football coach, athletic director, Sammy Burnett on the Coaches Show. Every Monday and Wednesday at this time here on KOXE and now back to video at KOXE.com.